Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys a free downloadable that you can print at home to make your own uh, paper uh, money that you can use for uh, paper money origami or orikane, which it's sometimes called. Um, I made a dollar bill and a five dollar bill origami paper right in the very beginning when I first started printables. And it's a little bit larger style piece of paper and it's a very simplified kind of design. And I thought, you know, after getting 100,000 subs that maybe it'd be a good time to reissue my dollar bill. And so this is the new design version for the dollar. And I hope you guys can have fun using it. And I try to make it a little bit more kind of to scale to a US dollar. And, um, you know, still try to kind of have fun with making the design for you guys. A uh, little commentary. There's the uh, my website address. Um, there, you know, the Nagasaki, Japan, where I live here. Uh, I was in Japan in 2010, uh, June 10th, which was the date of my first video, and it was of a frog. So those kinds of things are just fun little things I hid in here to kind of have for you guys. This has origami written in the three different ways. You can write it in Japanese, uh, hiragana, um, uh, kanji, and katakana. There's the QR code to go to my site as well. Um, so I hope you guys... Oh, and if you're familiar with the old US dollar, there's a little tiny... Uh, owl in the corner up here, uh, and so there's a little tiny puppy here. <laughs> um, so anyways, I, I had a lot of fun making this, and I hope you guys can enjoy using it. What I decided to do this time is, I, I've always kind of wanted to do this with regular origami paper, but I was worried that the uh, paper wasn't quite big enough. Um, A4 paper is really long, uh, U.S. letter size is shorter. I don't want to run the risk of you guys trying to print things at home and winding up getting two pages or things need to be shrunk down to be printed on one page, all those things. So, um, but the general idea of having a double-sided paper that you can just fold in half, um, you know, I wish I could do that with regular origami paper because that would be cool too. But um, I'm doing it for this dollar. And so all you need to do is just cut out along the dotted line here. So when you print out the paper, it looks something like this after you cut it out. Now, if you wanted to, you could choose to cut it in half because a lot of the uh, money origami doesn't require, um, you know, it doesn't really show the back side of the bill. Uh, for example, the shirt I'm going to show you guys today doesn't uh, need one either, but I'm just going to show you guys how to fold it if you were to fold it in half. What you do is just fold it in half, and that should give you then a double-sided piece of paper that has the dollar on the front and then the one dollar, the back side of the bill, on the other side. So pretty easy stuff. So when you look at things with uh, the front of the bill, uh, up at the top here we want to fold just a little bit of this flap down. And really you just kind of want to get it so that you can kind of come to the edge of the back side there. Flip it over. We're just going to go ahead and fold everything in half. You want to try to keep things together, especially when there's stuff down here where stuff can shift around a little. It's good to kind of get both ends going first and then meet in the middle. And then I'm just going to go ahead and fold into the center here from these outer edges. It can be a little tricky when you're dealing with double paper because it's thicker than normal. But just take your time, try to get things nice and creased out. Like I said, start on one side, try to keep it together for when you fold it over. So you get something like this. My dog, he's coming off. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. He doesn't want to stay on today. He just got lotion on my fingers. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and open things up for a second here. And then down at the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and take each of these corners and fold them in. So that when you fold back over, you've got a nice kind of side there that's been tucked away.
go ahead after folding both of those to fold those flaps back in and then we're gonna just gonna take the top part and fold it back right over what will be the collar there right along the edge and then on this other side we're going to do the same thing we're going to fold right over here where we've got stuff already folded over get that kind of tucked away so we get something like this then up here at the top I'm going to fold in my collar now there's a lot of paper here because I've doubled things up but you just want to try to get it at a fun little angle for your shirt and you can play with this and how you do it a little bit but I'm just going to give myself a little bit of an angle here you want to try of course to have it come down at about the same angle so that you get an equal collar going there then on the bottom here I'm going to kind of open things up a bit and turn it around for a second what I want to do is basically open this flap up so that it kind of pops open to create a 90 degree angle with everything here and I'll do the same thing on the other side too. So I'm basically just bringing this edge out even with the other side. And then we're just going to put pressure down in the middle so that we can get this to smush out. Like so. Then if I just turn it around, I'm just going to take all this and pull it up. I can bring it all the way up here and tuck it underneath the collar that I have going. Try to keep your centers lined up. That's key, of course. And you do kind of need to poof things out there to get it to cooperate. But you should be able to get it so that you wind up with something like this, which is our finished little shirt, our cute little collar shirt with the little one mark prominently there. And that's just one of many ways you can use this dollar uh, paper, this printable, to make your own projects. There's tons of really amazingly cool origami out there that uses money. And most prominently, the uh, US $1 bill was used. Uh, and there's some pretty cool ones that take advantage of the way the $1 bill is printed. And I hope my creation mimics the dollar bill well enough for you that you will be able to get the same results with those. Um, and, uh, you know, I hope you can enjoy finding some of those. I wish I could share those with you, but, uh, you know, the artists do not give permission, so I have to steer clear of that. This is a traditional origami project here, so I was safe to share that with you guys. But, um, again, this paper is available on my website. There's a link in the description below, as well as in the little fancy cards thing that YouTube has now so check that out and um yeah i'll have some more fun projects to share with you guys in the days to come thanks again you guys always so much for all your support um i i do intend i, I know this is kind of at the tail end of this video but i do really want to do a big kind of way to celebrate because i'm celebrating an anniversary for my channel and um i just passed the hundred thousand uh sub mark and i'll be passing um thousands video mark and all those different things. So I, I do intend to do something and to do a giveaway. I know I haven't done a giveaway in a while. So, uh, you know, be patient for that. It's probably not going to be until later until May. Um, just because things are a little crazy and busy for us right now. But, um, yeah, I will try my best to get that together for you guys because you all definitely deserve it. Uh, thank you again so much. And I hope you guys all are enjoying, uh, the, your, you know, spring right now. And, I'll have some more fun things to share with you guys in the days to come. Thanks. Bye.